Welcome, welcome back at Tiny Help at C squared. In this uh, example, we have to find the measure of angle D, which is right here. And I'm going to start looking uh, in this triangle, triangle ACD. That triangle, it is an isosceles triangle. Why? Because we notice these two sides are congruent those are those are called the legs so um, that means it's an isosceles triangle and because this triangle is isosceles these two angles this one and the one that is 50 are congruent or they have the same measure those are the base angles so the measure of angle cba will be 50 degrees in case you want to find angle C now you can use the sum of the interior angle of a triangle is 180 and you can find this angle uh, going from there but we don't need it for our problem for our problem we're going to need these angles right here angle C B D okay so if you take a look the measure of angle C B D plus the measure of angle CBA, the one we just found out, the sum of these two angles is 180. Why? Because these two angles here, this one and this one, form a line. They are a linear pair. So, uh, measure of angle CBD plus 50 degree, how much CBA is, you remember right here equals 180 180 degrees so we can subtract 50 and we have the measure of angle c b d is 130 degrees so this angle here is 130 but now let's take a look in triangle b d c this is also an isosceles triangle is an obtuse isosceles triangle but it's still an isosceles triangle which means uh, be, um, by the way is an isosceles triangle because you notice these two sides are congruent which means this angle the one we're looking for angle d and this angle uh, b c d are congruent they have the same measure which i'm going to call it x and now we know the sum of the interior angle for this triangle cbd like any other triangle is 180 so we have 130 this angle plus the two axes right the the other two angles equals 180 we're going to combine the like terms the two axes Then we're going to subtract the 130. And we have 2x equals 50. And divide by 2, x equals 25. And don't forget this x is the angle D. So the measure of angle D is nothing else than 25 degrees if you enjoyed this video clip don't forget to click the like button and come back on c square for more help thank you